financial training series in the today's video i'll be talking about the significance of ledger set how do you create a ledger set and uh, why do we need to even create a ledger set this is arvind varaganti and you are watching oracle ebs and fusion videos channel be discussing today how to create a ledger set and uh, its uh, significance and uh, the task is uh, manage ledger sets through which we can create a ledger set so what is a ledger ledger set ledger set is a group of ledgers it's a way wherein you can group the ledgers into something called ledger set and the reason why we create a ledger set is basically you once you group a ledgers into a ledger set you can use that ledger set in various configurations and uh, during a data entry it becomes your life easy uh, taking one of our uh, real uh, client as an example so uh, one of our client had 25 primary ledgers we created one ledger set to combine all those 25 primary ledgers and we used that particular ledger set in a lot of configurations during your gl general entry you can uh, use your ledger set during period closure you can use a ledger set during certain configurations like your uh, setting up of your uh, auto post uh, criteria set running of some reports uh, you can use a ledger set so there are a lot of configurations or places wherein you can use the ledger set now let me show you how to create a ledger set so let me take uh, my current uh, test environment uh, example so in my current test environment uh, i have uh, three different uh, ledgers reliance inr ledger reliance ust ledger reliance canadian ledger so what i will do is i will try to create a reliance ledger set wherein i will inc- combine all these three ledgers into a ledger set reliance inr ledger reliance ust ledger and reliance canadian ledger now let's see how we can create a ledger set so in order to create a ledger set the task is manage ledger sets so let's navigate to setup and maintenance you can go to your global search or even you can even search here manage ledger sets click on this manage ledger set so here you can see the existing ledger set so let me try to create a new ledger set by clicking on this plus button let me give the name as reliance ledger set reliance group ledger set and here you can see chart of accounts and accounting calendar are mentioned here so you can combine the ledgers which share the same chart of accounts and accounting calendar so this is very important only those ledgers which share the same chart of accounts and accounting calendar only those ledgers can be combined into a ledger set as soon as you s- select a particular ledger uh, your chart of accounts and calendar so here in the drop down and, and then here there will be a plus button and uh, once you click on plus button you will be able to select all the ledgers and in the drop down system will show only those ledgers which has this chart of accounts and accounting calendar so now let me select chart of accounts the chart of accounts of my three ledgers is reliance and the calendar of all my three ledgers is reliance so if any of these uh, ledgers has a different calendar then then i will not be able to group them under one ledger set and here it's a default ledger so basically uh, which ledger should be defaulted in the screen i just want uh, reliance us to be defaulted in the screen out of all these three ledgers and here you have something called your classification currency specific and gap view so if i select currency specific then your currency field become mandatory and if i select a currency as usd and then when i click on plus button i will be able to select only those ledgers which, which has the currency of usd so that means in my current example i will not be able to meet my requirement my requirement is to group three ledgers reliance inr ledger usd ledger and canadian ledger into reliance ledger set and in my case these three ledgers are three different currencies here inr is the functional currency usd is the functional currency and canadian uh, dollar is the functional currency in this ledger so 
in my current case this might not meet my requirement so i will not select any currency if i do not want to select any currency then i need to leave the classification as blank so the users or the the clients who have a business requirement of grouping only those ledgers which has a specific currency those clients needs to specify under classification as country specific and if you see if you uh, select your uh, classification as gap you uh, you can't update the class ledger okay that's fine yeah so if you assign the classification as gap you again your currency would be mandatory and then you will be able to select here you will be able to select all those your uh, ledgers especially your gap you is used you know to combine your uh, primary ledger and your adjustment only secondary ledger so wherein you want to from a gap view perspective your generally accepted account in principle view perspective you want to combine the data or combine the ledgers of your primary ledger and adjustment only say second ledger in those cases you will go for a classification of queue view but otherwise in all other normal cases you will leave the classification as blank okay so let me just again close this and then reopen let me do this i'll not enter any classification here chart of accounts is uh, reliance and my accounting calendar is reliance and the default ledger is reliance us and at the bottom now let me include all the three ledgers reliance canadian ledger reliance uh, in ledger reliance us ledger now out of these three ledgers so i just want the default ledger to be reliance us now let me save this okay now as i have created the ledger set now in order for this ledger to be used i need to assign this particular ledger set as a data access to the user so as you know like you can assign a ledger to the user so similarly you can assign a ledger set to the user so once you assign a ledger set to the user user will have access to all the ledgers under that particular ledger set so you need not individually assign each of the ledger just assigning of the ledger set to the user will get an access to all the ledgers under that particular ledger set and another important point is like uh, you need not mention anything under classification and here at the bottom as long as uh, you have your second ledger which has the same chart of accounts and calendar as that of your primary so here you can even include your second ledgers as well so the condition is your chart of accounts and calendar of all those primary or the second ledger should be same as long as they are same you should be able to combine or group all those primary and second ledgers into the ledger set okay so let me do save and close as i have created the ledger set now let me assign this particular ledger set to the user manage data access for users and is data access for users so click on plus fas09 dot student that's the username my current username and uh, the role is general accounting manager that's my gl role data access set now in the drop down i should be able to see the individual ledgers as well as the ledger set see now instead of assigning all these individual ledgers i am just directly assigning the ledger set now let me go to those uh, data entry screens now in the data entry screen i should be able to select the ledger set so let me show you couple of examples so let me go to general accounting period close dashboard so when i go to the period close dashboard here let me change the data access set to reliance ledger set click on okay and now in the drop down i should be able to see all those ledgers or let me click on this so here i should be able to see or i should be able to select multiple ledgers or another option would be view by ledger set once you click on view by ledger set you can see i am able to see the period closure status of all the modules of all the ledgers under this ledger set in a single view so this is one example similarly let me go to the general entry screen 
here I have selected Reliance Ledger set. So let, when I go to the create journals, so here I should be able to enter the data of different ledgers. So I can select Reliance Canadian Ledger. You can save this and then my next ledger could be Reliance IN Ledger and then another journal should be under Reliance US Ledger and so on. Similarly, let me go to say setting up of uh, auto post criteria set. Manage auto post criteria set. Again, I'm just giving some example, but there are a lot of other screens wherein you can use the ledger set. So click on plus button to create an auto post criteria set. I'll just say Reliance auto post and then click on set plus so here you can see ledger or ledger set so if I want to specify your auto post criteria set taking my same example of my one of my client where I had 25 ledgers if I do not have this ledger set then I need to enter the criteria for 25 ledgers at a time I need to create kind of 25 rows but instead I can just select my ledger set so here i should be able to select ledger set so that i can just create one row and specify that uh, criteria i can say that okay so with this i am saying that i just want all the ledgers under this ledger set irrespective of the general source irrespective of the general category irrespective of the accounting period all those journals under this particular ledger set should be picked up by my auto post program so when i select this particular release auto post as a criteria set in that auto post program similarly there are a lot of other reports wherein there are options to select the ledger set so the the parameter label will clearly say whether the, the drop down shows ledger or ledger set if the parameter label clearly says ledger set then in the drop down system will show even the ledger sets as well so this is the beauty of uh, ledger set wherein you combine multiple ledgers into a single ledger set and use that in your configurations or your data and screen thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on oracle financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you